as a gift from the people of Palestine to someone who came in peace. Subhanallah. Bismillah. Uh, sorry, it's just uh, difficult with what's going on at the moment. So, I was there for the whole of Ramadan as a non-believer in 2008. I had my arms showing, my hair was out, my sense of modesty wasn't exactly what we might appreciate. But did I hear haram haram? I went into her home, and what was her home, brothers and sisters? One single cement room, cement floor, cement walls, and nothing in it at all. Nothing but some old mattresses that she, her husband, his parents, and their children all slept on at night. And I felt angry at this Islam. I couldn't understand why would people fast, why would any deity make people go hungry who were already hungry and I said to this mother of Rafa refugee camp, why do you fast in Ramadan? What is the point? You say your God makes you do without food for 30 days but on day 31 you have no food you say your God makes you thirsty for 30 days but on day 31 you only have dirty water or no water what's the point why do you fast and this mother looked at me and she said well I fast in Ramadan to remember the poor She had nothing, and I couldn't understand it. How could she be fasting for other people? How could she remember other people's poverty when she had nothing? And at that moment, a thought came into my mind, if this is Islam, I want to be Muslim. If this love of God is in a religion, I want to be in that religion. If this love for your fellow human being, even at your moment of hardship, if this is a religion, I want to be in that religion. And if this love for the visitor and for the traveler is a religion, then let me be a Muslim, subhanAllah. But it took two years for me to take my shahada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how long it takes for us to be humbled and for our hearts to be cleansed of some of the things that we have in them. And I just want to say now that 
the most said word in Gaza right now is Alhamdulillah. Do you know that? Wallahi. The people run into the streets and some of the mothers hand out sweets and say Alhamdulillah, not because they love death for their children. No, we are not a death cult. We are a religion of life. We are a religion that loves children. But we accept Shaheed and we accept the Qadr of Allah. And these people understand what is being asked of them. May Allah grant them all the highest of Jannah. They hand out sweets. I went into a back room to pray Maghrib and I started to cry. When I was in sujood, the tears left my eyes so hard I thought I was going to go blind. And I thought of Yaqub and how he grieved for his son Yusuf. And I thought, yes, you can go blind from grief. And this mother put her hand on my shoulder and said, Miss, why are you crying? I said, I'm crying for you. I'm crying because your children are going to keep getting killed and nobody's doing anything. And I'm crying because the world knows and they're not going to help you. And I'm crying because I'm here and I can't help you. And she looked at me strangely and she said, You're crying for us? I said, yes. She said, but we're so happy. She said, we have Allah. And Allah loves us. And he's told us that if we are steadfast and patient, it's Jannah. Alhamdulillah.